Hello and welcome everyone. It's Rebecca Davison, intuitive coach and mentor and founder of Find Your Bliss. Welcome, welcome to this Ego Detox Soul Energizer series. We're going to journey together for the next 10 days and shift some energy. We're going to use our intuition to create a more magical life for ourselves in 2016. So I'm so excited that you're here with me today. For those of you who don't know me, I'm an intuitive coach and mentor, and what that means is that I help people to shift energy. Now there's three ways that I help people do that. First and foremost, I help people to identify and eliminate limiting beliefs or thought patterns or um, contractions in their energetic field. The next step from there is to help people to develop and trust their own intuition so you can use your limitless potential available to you in regards to creating a life that you love. And the third step really that I assist people with is what does it take to live in high frequency energy all the time so you can become um, a manifestation magnet so to speak. So that's a little bit of an overview in regards to how I assist people. What I want to do though is to get started straight away in regards to this Ego Detox Soul Energizer series. Today for our intuitive tweak, what I want to talk about is what it means to claim your power. So how do you feel about being a powerful person? A lot of people kind of feel a little bit uncomfortable sometimes with the word power. Mm. Often people feel like the word power means power over or that it maybe has a slightly aggressive frame of reference. So for you, I'd like to give you my definition of what power means. My definition of power simply means being centered and in the energy of my own energy, i.e. no one else's. And also, you know, making decisions and taking action from that place. So there's a couple of things that I've recognized from powerful people. And, you know, that I want to talk about these three topics because they're really important in regards to creating a powerful mindset for yourself in a powerful energy field. You know, really power is connecting to that infinite part of yourself. So your, your real energy as opposed to your ego energy, your soul energy getting connected to that soul space. So first and foremost, what I've identified about powerful people is that they make decisions. So, and often when this comes up, right, people go automatically into, I am really indecisive, or I find it really difficult to make decisions, or I always get stuck on whether I'm making the right decision. You know, what I would like to encourage you to do in this situation is kind of do two things. Pull the camera angle back a little bit and recognize that if you're in the energy of right and wrong, you're kind of in the energy of black and white. Recognizing that there is a myriad of options that can occur when you make a decision. And this is why it's so important to trust your intuition to be able to make the right decision in the first place. And recognizing that essentially there are no wrong decisions. You know, if you make a decision and it doesn't give you the results that you want, you can make another decision. <laughs> so recognizing that if you just pull the camera angle back a little bit, you can make a decision or it can not just be two choices like I right or wrong. It could be this is right but this could be better or there's another option over here or maybe this won't bring me the results that I'm really looking for or maybe there's something else that I can do to adjust this energy that it's going to bring me amazing results. So just recognizing that if you're in the energy of right or wrong that you've probably got a little bit of judgment there. And recognizing too that if we are emotionally charged, then it's more important to practice detachment in regards to making a decision. But powerful people make decisions. You can be guaranteed that powerful people that you know, successful powerful people, have made a lot of decisions that they would consider the wrong decision. But the secret of success, of course, is continuity. So continuing to make decisions, you know, if you make a decision that doesn't bring you the results that you want, recognizing what have you learned from what the decision that you did make, applying that information you have learned, making another decision to bring you in the energy or the result that you're looking for. So again, powerful people make decisions. If you are in a situation where you feel powerless, there's a good chance that maybe you're sitting in the energy of indecision or sitting on the fence, so to speak. You know, the most powerful thing you can do is get off the fence. No matter whether it's right or wrong as such, just get off the fence, you know, make a decision, get into the energy of movement, of um, action, which is the second thing that powerful people do. 
as they take action. So, and that's actually one of the definitions of power. Power means to take action. So are you a person who has the ability to take action? You know, are you able to get into that momentum? Now, another energy that comes up here often for people, right, is procrastination or self-sabotage. You know, what does it take to actually get out of your own way when it comes to being powerful, to taking action? You know, and the best thing that I can recommend in this circumstance is connect to that part of you that has the desire to be powerful. If you're feeling stuck or blocked, take some action, even if it's the tiniest thing. You know, I had a circumstance once where I had an issue with my roof and I was feeling really flummoxed and really powerless about it because it was connected to not just a straightforward situation where I could pick up the phone and have it resolved. It was through the earthquake commission because we'd had some earthquakes here in Christchurch, so it needed to be fixed in a particular way. But as soon as I took some action and started making some phone calls and got onto Facebook and said to people, you know, please help me, I immediately felt empowered, you know, which is, you know, what we want really is to feel good. So recognizing that if you're feeling stuck, make a decision and take some action. You know, that's a very powerful combination for you getting what it is that you want and for getting the energy to move. <clears throat> and the beautiful thing is, is when you start using your intuition and you combine it with making decisions and taking action, you get phenomenal results. You know, you get instantaneous results that often are beyond your own level of comprehension because you're really stepping into the energy of synchronicity, of flow and showing up for yourself. You know, it's not all about just manifesting things that turn up on your doorstep. To really make things happen, you need to take action, which is what something that powerful people demonstrate on a continual basis. The third thing that I have identified that powerful people do is they protect their energetic boundaries. Now, as intuitive people, sensitive people, it's very easy to pick up on other people's energy. So a constant thing to do is to always be monitoring your energy and making sure it's your energy and that you're not picking up other people's stuff. You know, and this is very common if you're a healer, if you're an empath, or if you're intuitive, you can pick up on other people's stuff like crazy. So what does it do? It, it, it involves some awareness. You need to be aware of what is yours and what's not. And this can have a huge impact on us physically as well. I had a circumstance a couple of weeks ago where I had had a headache for about a week and um, I had got to the point where I was like, you know, this is crazy. I don't usually like to take drugs or things like that. So I asked, you know, I asked Source Energy and first thing I asked was, is this energy mine? No. And then I went through a kind of list and I was kind of like, whose person, who's this energy belong to? And then discovered who that was. And then when I did that and I just sent that energy back to that person and said, you know, this is your energy. I'm not going to hold on to this energy any longer. My headache disappeared, no kidding, in about 20 seconds. So recognizing that when you carry energy for other people energetically, and we all do this to a certain extent, it can have a big impact on your physicality, on your own energy levels, on how tired you become. So really monitoring what it takes to keep your own energy your own. You know, and this shows up in all sorts of ways. You know, to be a powerful person to my mind is you're just in your own energy and you're operating from that energy space. You know, are you letting other people's energy affect you? Now, this kind of leads over to if you get triggered by somebody. Now, if you get triggered by somebody, the way you can tell, like if it's your stuff or the other person's stuff, is actually to tune into your body because your body will tell you. Like if you have a conversation with somebody and get triggered and you're kind of left walking away going, is that my stuff or their stuff or because I'm having a reaction to it, tune into your body. Your body will tell you. If there's something in it for you, your body will be kind of, maybe your heart will start beating or your solar plexus will be going a bit funny. You know, that's how your body communicates to you that there's something in that for you. If there's no kind of physical reaction as such, if it's more just kind of in your mind, then more often than not, it'll be just be the other person's stuff, in which case it's really important for you to kind of just keep that glass wall between you and the other person and ask that energy to go back to them and that you're keeping your energy kind of confined and in your own space. You know, always connecting to the light, always keeping the other person connected to the light. So you're in your, you know, I like to, you know, the movie Dirty Dancing. 
and Patrick Swayze and he's like you know this is my dance space and this is your dance space and that's what creates a beautiful you know a beautiful rhythm of dance right is to be able to keep the energy in the right place that like, this is my energy and this is your energy so really remembering that maybe that might be helpful to remember Patrick Swayze in my dance space and your dance space but anyway those are the three things that I've identified that powerful people do so they make decisions they um, take action and they maintain their own energetic boundaries so just being really aware of those three things and what can you do in regards to tweaking your energy in such a way that's going to do that and that's what we're going to do right now we're going to make the decision to be a powerful person I just want to do this super quick I'm just going to ask you to close your eyes and take a nice big deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth and again and through the nose out through the mouth And just becoming quite still, I'm just going to ask for lots of light to be present throughout your energy field. I'm also going to ask for the energy of expansion to be present, so expanding your energy out, right out into the universe, out into the stars, out into oneness. And I'm just going to ask that we have soul space present, that we're tuning into the energetic frequency of your soul. And just then with lots of, <clears throat> excuse me, with lots of presence, just asking to become a powerful person. Asking to be a person who makes decisions. To be a person who takes action. And to be a person who maintains very good energetic boundaries. And just asking on a soul level for any assistance that's required for you to become a more powerful person. Just feeling the energy of support, of allowing your energy to expand, allowing your power to increase, allowing your light to shine for you to be more expanded. And confirming that so it is. And then just opening your eyes and coming back to the present moment and recognizing that yes, on a soul level, it may seem um, very straightforward to be a powerful person because your soul is infinitely powerful. You're a limitless source energy in a body. But what it takes is for some um, calibration really for the ego to be okay and to recognize with you being you know, the brightest light that you can be. So really my wish for you today is for you to step into the energy of being a powerful person, being the person who makes decisions, who takes action, maintains those energetic boundaries. I look forward to traveling on this journey with you. It's going to be so much fun to see how much shift takes place for you. If you'd like to join in the conversation, please go to Facebook. Facebook, uh, Find Your Bliss Now is my um, Facebook page. I'd love to connect with you there and hear what your experiences have been. Share how you're going to become a more powerful person, what actions you might like to take, what decisions that you need to make in regards to increasing your energetic vibration. I look forward to connecting with you again soon. Lots of love. Bye for now.